There you go. Okay, I'm gonna put the tail clamp on again. I'm gonna tighten that down. I'm gonna put the die in. I'm gonna put the handle in our hip here so it keeps the wire and the fingers out of your way. Goes up underneath. We're gonna to wanna to center that as best we can. So try to use two hands to tighten. So there's little tabs underneath the wire thumb screws. Once I get it started, I can do both. Okay. I can see inside a couple of reference points for the die to be straightened or centered. I will show you outside as well. And I'll show you how to adjust. Okay, everything is finger tight. We're good there. Now we're gonna take a look at making sure our wire support fingers are in between the grooves. So tighten. I am a couple of short on this particular die. So now they're in between. And the reference I wanna show you is the carrier rod and the die here. Should be the same distance as the carrier rod and the die on that side. Two additional fingers. There's a slot at the end of the fingers where the wire goes in between to keep the wire tight. So, crank it real slow. That's all good. Okay. So, on this side is our adjustment. So, right now, currently, we are at the maximum. So, both positions down and the bottom is maximum. We can count. So, let's count once we get a big click. That's the big click. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We got ten clicks, and that's how far our feed rollers will turn. The more clicks, the more re the feed rollers will turn. The more thickness, the heavier the dough will be. So I'm going to adjust this all the way up. And notice that there are grooves on the red bushing with flanges, as well as the bars there. So that will prevent them to slip. If you do this, then they will grind and wear out prematurely. So let's do that again. That was our big click. There it is. One, two, three, four. That was only four, so we're gonna get much less dough out of that. Okay, we're gonna take this apart real quick. So we're gonna loosen these black thumb screws. They will come out of your way. Top of the S-bar. I like to leave that one in the lowest position. That makes it easier to crank. Push that out of the way. Gear guard. Turn the hopper over. Take the feed rollers out. Put them on top of our feed rollers. Rotate the S-bar or the ratchet plate up and out of the way. Okay, put this back in our hip pocket. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Three, four, five, six, seven. And then the middle one will drop out. Since there's no one dough in there, it'll fall and make a noise. Okay. Everything is out, we can take our table clamp off but we'll leave that there we'll put everything back together real quick so in reverse make sure this is out of your way we can put the s-bar and ratchet plate back together and we can adjust that later and our ears go on this side for the gear.
your guard back on and we are ready to use the machine for the next time.